You already know how to rep Peru. We didn't win yesterday. We tied, but we could have the chance of going to the World Cup. So I had to rep them. Yo, 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 what's good, Ice Squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. I do want to apologize for not uploading on Monday. Time caught up to me. I had a test Tuesday for like this thing called MATLAB. If you guys know what it is, it's awful. But anyway, since I didn't upload on Monday, I'm going to be uploading this Friday to make up for not uploading Monday because I do want to have videos for you guys at least two times during the week and Saturday and Sunday. And I know I slacked off again this weekend for not putting up the sneakerhead weekend videos. It was UM week where FSU plays UM. They played this Saturday and that just caught up with me as well. So I didn't have time to actually upload. But now that I think of it, I'm going to start editing those videos earlier and then have them uploaded earlier so I can have them ready for the weekend. Anyways, today's video is on the top three worst sneaker releases of this month. And yes, there is the worst sneaker releases. And starting with the number one. You guys might not agree with me on this one, but I think it's a bad release. I think this is just a bad shoe that they made overall. And it is the Air Jordan 1 in the world colorway in the Flyknit version of it, which is awful. I don't like them. I don't know if they're supposed to be more comfortable or what, but I just don't think they're that nice. The leather look keeps the original look to it, so that's what makes the shoe nice. And when they put Flyknit to it, it just defeats that purpose, so I don't think it's nice anymore. Don't get me wrong, it's not an ugly shoe, like it's still a Jordan 1, but it just looks better in the original leather version so i guess the flyer just doesn't go with me the shoe did already drop and it dropped on october 7th for the price of 180 which i think it might be a little more expensive like ten dollars more just because it is fly knit fly knit is pretty expensive all the knits are expensive even as far as adidas go the knit versions of shoes do go for a little bit more because i guess the knit takes longer to make or it's harder to make or it's harder to obtain i don't know i just know that the knit versions of shoes are a little bit more expensive than the regular shoes second up on the list you guys already know why that i hate this shoe this shoe is absolutely ugly i literally ranked on this shoe when it first came out oh my God, I don't know what Nike did with this one. I know the shoe's doing pretty good for them, but as far as the aesthetics of the shoe go, it is just super ugly to me. And it is a Nike Vapor Max in the Oreo 2.0 colorway. I don't even want to talk about the shoe. It's just so, I don't know. It's just, I can just say that it's really ugly. I, it looks like bubbles on the bottom of your feet. And then it kind of reminds me of the Raph Simmons shoes where they have like the arc in the middle of the foot. I don't like that. It just doesn't look good. I know some people do. Some people like that designer look, but I don't know. That just does not look right to me. It looks really weird. I like when the shoe's nice and flat. Like you can see the whole sole and it doesn't just cut off somewhere. That's just weird to me. I think the reason for that being is those for like, arc support on your foot which means it is a good shoe it is a comfortable shoe on top of that it is a vapor max so it has those air units just full of air which makes it a really comfortable shoe i've never tried one on but that's what i heard from people and i've seen people wearing them here and there and i've heard from sneaker accounts that the shoe is doing really good for nike so i guess that's good for nike but as far as for me that's a no-go if you're looking to pick it up the shoe does drop on october 26th for the price of 190 it is ten dollars more than the jordan one flying it but if you actually want to have a nicer shoe go ahead and buy the jordan one flying it not the vapor max because the vapor max is just ugly but if you do want comfort then i think the vapor max would be the way that you want to go but just don't do it to yourself last but not least we have the ugliest shoe on the list and it's the worst shoe of the month and i think it is the nike lebron 15 in the ashes colorway this shoe is just i don't know what they did it is absolutely ugly it's kind of like hand in hand with the vapor max they're both as ugly the only thing that makes this shoe maybe just a little bit nicer is the sole that's the only thing that's nice on the shoes is just the midsole and probably the sole i haven't really seen the bottom of the shoe but the upper is completely ugly i don't know it looks like a quilt pattern it just looks really i don't know what they try to do with the shoe i don't think the shoe flows too good then you have like that sock liner kind of looking thing around your ankle I feel like they got the sole off of a KD and they didn't really give like the LeBron its own look to it. LeBron shoes are just getting uglier and uglier every single release. I remember the LeBron 8s came out. Those are super fire. The 9s came out. They're like, eh. And the 10s came out. They look pretty dope because they had like all the points and stuff. They had like nice angle cuts and stuff to them. And then the 11 came out. I was like, what? They just completely like changed the shoe. They started throwing like plastic on there. It just didn't look right. And the, the 12, 13, 14, now 15. I'm assuming they're a good shoe to ball in because they keep making these ugly shoes. I'm surprised LeBron is wearing these shoes because they're just really ugly. I'm sorry, Nike, but you got to step your aesthetics up because these shoes are just not cutting it. I wouldn't even buy this for basketball. As good as a basketball shoe is, I just wouldn't buy it because it's that ugly. And don't get me wrong. These are not the nicest looking shoes. These are the crazy explosives, but they're from Adidas. They got Boost and well, they got Boost, you know, Boost over everything. These are fire basketball shoes. So if you guys are looking for good shoes to ball in, get these. We get the ones that have like the sock liner. It's like the 2017 version. Super nice. They're way nicer than these and they're pretty comfortable shoe. They got Boost. You already know you can't go wrong with Boost. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers by the end of this month, which is month of october we just hit 18k today so thanks to all you that have subscribed and helped this channel grow i do appreciate it and also stay tuned to my other channel because i am bringing it back i'm gonna start doing funny stuff on that channel on campus and i'm gonna do vlogs as well so just stay tuned i promise you that channel is coming back and it's gonna grow together with this channel as well i did forget to mention when the sneaker release date was for the lebrons which i'm not gonna mention because i don't want to tell you guys and the price is just ridiculous for the shoe as well i don't want to see anybody wearing these if i catch you wearing these you're gonna get flamed by me just letting you know Anyways, today's fan of the day does go to Hype Beast CSGO. Big shout out to you. You did enter the giveaway for the end of this month. I still got to do the announcement for the giveaway of last month. And you guys know I'm a slut because it, it just happens. It's just 
it just happens, you know. I'm gonna get it done, don't worry. Next week for sure, I got you guys. Winner for last month's giveaway will be announced. Anyways, make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, Sneaker Sign Out.